All right, to high school sports. Let the playoffs begin for high school soccer, or in this case, the play-in to regional action next week. Athens playing host to Beardstown will pick things up in the first half. It's Mackenzie Ward who tries to put the ball on goal, but Garcia Zabala makes the grab. The game remains scoreless. Later, under three ticks to go in the half off the direct free kick, Esmuela Batista pops it over the defense and the keeper for the goal. And that's your final, Beardstown 1-0. A big soccer showdown in the capital city as Springfield High welcomes always tough Edwardsville. And Edwardsville up 1-0 in the second half. Lily Cobb with the kick. The ball is loose in the box. Abby Crabtree has a shot at it. That goes straight up in the air. Renee Smith a reverse butt, head butt into the net for the goal. What an interesting play there. Later watch Cobb again with a nice pass over to Alicia Belt for the nice one-timer. Edwardsville shuts out Springfield High 4-0. Over to some prep baseball now. Athens hosting Midwest Central. Top of the fifth inning. Bases loaded for Braxton Ari, who doubles the center field. That would bring in two runs. Midwest Central leads it 8-5. to five. Now in the sixth, two on for Colin Romer, who singles to right center field. That brings in a run. The Warriors get within four. However, they lose at home by a score of 14-6. to six. College baseball, Lewis and Clark meeting Lincoln Land for a doubleheader. Top of the first inning, bases loaded for Sawyer Howard, who gets the strike out there. The game remains scoreless, but in the bottom of the first inning, that would change. One out for Bryce Wright, who lines a drive to left field. That brings in a pair of bloggers. Bloggers would lead by two. Then the bottom of the first inning, Sam Good with a line drive to left field. More runners come in, and Lincoln Land sweeps the doubleheader 11-1 and 12-2. Over to the Sangamon Conference track meet. This is the girls 1600 meter race and Olivia Rohr crosses the line at a time of 5 minutes and 44 seconds. For the boys, another Pleasant Plains runner comes in, Daniel Plunkett, clocks in at 4 minutes and 28 seconds. In the girls 200 meter dash, it's Rachel Rhodes who finishes with a time of 27-16, edging her Williamsville teammate. And in the boys 200 meter dash, it was a tight one, but Jay Talley crosses the finish line first with a time of 22.98. The Rochester girls and the Pleasant Plains boys are your conference champions.